Hello students, today I am going to discuss with you a graph which has been seen in the past in the academic IELTS writing test. Uh, this is a column graph. The chart below shows the percentage of whole world population in four countries um, from 1950 to 2000 with projections till 2050. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So this is the picture as you can see this is uh, on the y-axis we have the percentage there are four countries India, China, USA and Japan and uh, there are three years the first column is for 1950 the second one is for 2000 and this column is for the year 2050. So I always tell my students that every graph teaches you uh, something or the else. You know in this graph the thing to be learned is language of the future and also there is this you will you will have to use the past tense as well as you will have to use the language we have to use for the future in this graph and you have to make comparisons so the sample answer which i have prepared goes like this the given bar graph compares the changes in the proportion of population in india china the usa and japan in 1950 and 2000 and also indicates the projections for 2050. So in this graph another thing we learn is how to write the intro in which uh, the past years are also mentioned and the future year has also to be mentioned. So if you will write straight away it gives the uh, compares the changes uh, from 1950 to 2050 uh, it would be wrong because 2050 has yet to come so you should write that uh, uh, the given bar graph compares the changes in the proportion of population in India, China, the USA and Japan in 1950 and 2000 and also indicates the projections for 2050. Now we come to the overview of the graph which we write after the introduction. So this is a one sentence introduction. This I have made by paraphrasing the question and uh, as far as the uh, overview is concerned it begins with the word overall overall china had the highest percentage of world population uh, in 1950 and 2000 so you can see 1950 china had the highest percentage of world population in uh, 2000 again china had the highest percentage so i've written that china had the highest percentage of world population in 1950 and 2000 but estimates show that uh, india will take the lead by 2050 in 2050 see the highest column uh, this is of india so by 2050 india will take the lead uh, in 1950 and 2000 china had the highest population but estimates show that you cannot just say that uh, this will happen uh, there is nothing sure so you have to say it is projected that or you can say estimates show that so this is how you uh, mention things about the future uh, another thing i've written in the overview is japan had the least population in the given period and the population is projected to decrease uh, further by 2050 so here you can say see Japan has the least population uh, in uh, uh, the given period 1950-2000 and, and, and the population is projected to decrease further by 2050. Then we uh, will talk about uh, the main body of the graph. I have written the introduction and I have given the overview. One thing you must note is that in the overview, I have not put any data. You can see I have just put the years. I have not written the percentage of anything. So that should not be put in the overview. And uh, you have to use words of comparison like the highest and the least. And uh, this is the trend projected to decrease. And this is also the trend that India will take the lead. So trends and the language of comparison have to come in the overview and that and these have come very well in this overview and it is also giving the gist of the whole graph now we'll come to the body paragraph in 1950 china accounted for a little over a quarter of the world's population just see 25 this is little over 25 so china accounted for 
a little over a quarter of the world's population although it decreased to a little under a quarter it was still the highest in 2000 among the given countries now i have written the data for uh, 1950 and i have written that it decreased and but still was the highest in 2000 it is estimated that the population of china will continue to drop and would reach approximately 19 percent by 2050 so the population of china it's expected it is expected that population of china will continue to drop and reach about 19 percent by 2050 however India showed an opposing trend to China. Its population in 1950 was 15%, which increased moderately to 19% by 2000 and is further expected to grow and reach nearly 20% by 2050. Then uh, Japan, uh, uh, USA and Japan, two countries are left. The population of USA and Japan showed a decrease. You can see these two USA and Japan. The population showed a decrease from 10%. This is 10 and this is 5. From 10% and 5% in 1950 to 5% and 4% respectively by 2000. Uh, tw uh, to by 2000. So this is... Uh, from 10 it has come down to about 7 so it's not 5 percent it is about 7.5 percent uh, uh, this is 10 and 5 to 5 percent is 7.5 percent and um, 4 percent so here you can see this is 4 but this is um, not 5 this is 7.5 percent and this is 4 percent it is predicted that the percentage will remain the same in the USA so in the uh, in the future you know, it is predicted that the percentage will remain the same in the USA whereas in Japan it is likely to fall further to 3% by 2050 in, Jap in the USA the, in Japan it is likely to fall further so you see that when we put the overview uh, on the top after the introduction then we don't have any stress of making comparisons and writing about the trends in the body paragraphs. In the body paragraphs, you just give the data uh, which country had how much uh, population and which had uh, less population and you know you have to mention the facts, the data and uh, in which country it increased and what it reached. So this is a very uh, you know easy and nice way of writing the graph. Uh, this is uh, understandable by the average student so I would suggest uh, it, this is a good piece to learn it a graph can be written in many ways and uh, some people use very uh, tough and difficult you know language to write the graph but I think that uh, simple writing uh, may can fetch better band score if you don't make small mistakes like capitalization errors and you know in this you have to learn that the is also used before only before very few countries like the USA the Netherlands the UK the Maldives the middle the Middle East the UAE otherwise it does not come before if we if we cannot write the India the China the Japan it would be grossly wrong so you learn about the simple grammar and you don't make such mistakes and uh, put the overview at the top after the introduction and then there will be nothing left but just write the uh, data and the whole graph will be over thank you very much for watching patiently